If you look at the Old Testament, there's, there's things expressed in, in uh, multiple different ways. For instance, Saul falls on a sword and kills himself in one place. And in another place, it's described that God killed Saul in that language, God, or God put him to death. In one place, it's described as Pharaoh hardening his heart. In another place, it's described as Pharaoh's heart was hardened. In another place, it was described as God hardened Pharaoh's heart. All those descriptions are there. How do we make sense of that? The only way to make sense of that is under design law. And you understand how design law works and God has a role. What was God's role in hardening Pharaoh's heart? Anybody? Think about how the heart works. What happens in the, in the, in the New Testament, in the Revelation, it says, Christ, metaphorically speaking, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone opens the door, I will come in and sup with him and he with me. What door is that referring to? The door to the heart. And what does is, what is God use to knock on the door to your heart? To, the Holy Spirit is the agency, but what's he using? Two things are really primarily used. Truth and love. We are impacted when, when somebody loves us, that knocks on our heart. But also truth. Truth knocks on our heart. Okay? And then when you are impacted, some truth is presented to you. And, you, and you're convicted. You understand this is truth. You have a decision now to make, don't you? What are you going to do with that truth? Are you going to accept it? Are you going to move toward it? Are you going to embrace it? Are you going to internalize it? Are you going to say no to it? Now, if you say no to truth, what happens to your heart? It heart can't, does your heart harden if you never are confronted with truth? If you never make a decision on truth, does your heart really harden further? Not significantly. So, in the Old Testament, which pagan ruler had more truth presented to him than Pharaoh? No. Up at that point, nobody. That was, that was the most. Moses went over and over again and kept presenting truth, showing the, that these false gods were nothing. They were nothing over and over again. And Pharaoh saw the truth. He was convicted. He made it. And then he went back and changed his mind over and over again. So God's role was presenting truth. Had he not presented truth, Pharaoh's heart wouldn't have hardened. But Pharaoh was left free to make a decision. And his decisions were actually, that's why God hardened Pharaoh's heart by present, presenting truth that Pharaoh then chose to reject and hardening his heart. So all of it's true when you understand how reality works. Let's move on to Sunday's lesson.